accused Craigslist killer Philip Markoff got his first jailhouse visit from his fiance Wednesday. It also may be the last time he'll see her, as CBS News correspondent Michelle Gielen reports. Megan McAllister ignored reporters as she visited alleged Craigslist killer Philip Markoff in jail for the first time since his arrest. Their meeting lasted 25 minutes. They had a candid, frank discussion. McAllister's lawyer doesn't expect her to visit again in the near future. I think she feels uh, good about coming up and seeing him, but now it's time to move on uh, with other things in her life. To date, McAllister has professed her support and his innocence, but now it appears she may have heard enough. New reports say police found 16 pairs of women's underpants, allegedly souvenirs from his victims, and 60 pairs of plastic restraints hidden under the bed he shared with McAllister. Michelle Gillen, CBS News, New York. We are told that McAllister did not appear to be wearing an engagement ring during the jailhouse visit. Joining us now from Boston is Megan McAllister's attorney, Robert Honaker. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Julie. So did Megan break off her engagement with Philip? No, there's been no break off of the engagement. What she did is she uh, had a number of things to accomplish up here in Boston over the last couple of days. And one of them was to go visit her fiance at the jail. She went to the jail with her mother. She met with him for 25 minutes. Uh, obviously, that conversation was just between her and uh, her fiancé. When she uh, came down from that conversation, she was uh, emotional, obviously. Uh, and uh, she also uh, realizes that uh, he faces serious charges. And there's a point where he has to face those charges through the criminal justice system. And, and uh, she has to move on with the things that she also has planned other than their wedding in her life. And that's what she's going to do. Let me ask you this. Is she right now saying the wedding is off or postponed? Well, at right, right now, the, uh, the, the August, that's the wedding that's been planned is, is obviously off. There's no plans to reschedule any wedding. It's being dismantled. Those familiar with weddings, it takes a little bit to put it together and it takes a little bit to, to take them apart. And that's being done at this point. Right. And quite frankly, the charges that uh, she that he faces uh, makes it unlikely that the, it will be rescheduled. Is she still supporting him and believing that he is an innocent man? Well, obviously, she's still supporting him. Uh, she still believes in him. She believes in the person that she knows and, and, and loves. And the person described in the media and by authorities is not that person. Uh, obviously, she realizes that uh, uh, with the serious charges that his fate should rest in the, the criminal justice system. Uh, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And Why? she's going to allow that, that process to play out uh, until his fate is decided. Why has she hired you as her lawyer? What exactly are you helping her with? Well, to be quite frank with you, uh, there was a army of media outside of her, her residence in Little Silver. Uh, and I was requested by the family as a former prosecutor, uh, as someone familiar with the media, to begin to be their spokesperson so uh, we could give Megan some space. Yeah. I think it's important be because of this traumatic events that have happened in her life that she needs to be able to day by day begin to put her life back together. And that's why they've asked me to get involved to explain to them what will be happening in the criminal justice system with Philip Markoff, but also deal with you and the rest of the media Understood. in the, the days you, and week, weeks to come. Do you expect Megan to be called as a witness in this case? Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, obviously, I've had discussions with the uh, Suffolk County District Attorney's Office. Uh, if they decide to request that, that she be a part of their case, certainly we'll cooperate. Right. We've also uh, been in discussions with uh, Philip Markoff's uh, defense attorney, and uh, certainly uh, we'll be cooperative with him. Uh, I, I think that uh, Megan at this point is, is a person who is a, a strong a uh, young woman, bright and articulate, and she realizes that uh, in, the, in these coming weeks that she's going to have to do some things that put her life back in order. Mr. Honaker, I'm out of time, but I need a final quick answer. Does she still love Philip Markoff? 
I believe that she still loves the man that she knows, that she knew, that she lived with, and she continues to love that man.